G'day, welcome back to Trippin' at Oz. For those who didn't see the last few episodes, we finally arrived in Broome and had a look around for three days. Now, in episode four, we head out to the Dampier Peninsula with our first stop for two nights will be none other than the popular James Price Point. So, we were up and on our way early again after saying goodbye to John and Daryl. We got to the turn off to Cape Levique and turned off to find the first 20 kilometres of bitumen was being worked on. So down the side track we went. We finally got to the turn off, turned towards the coast onto a very corrugated road through to James Price Point. On arrival to James Price Point, the main camping area, it was once again packed with tents, campers and caravans. We decided to keep heading up the coast to find a spot on the beach a bit quieter. We found a short track off the main road, which led down to the beach. Just as we turned onto the beach, there was a couple in a great spot who came out and stopped us to say they were about to leave. Well, once again, we've got a great spot, but we also met some more nice people. So they eventually left and we set up. After setting up, we went down to look at the reef at low tide and I put the drone up for a quick look.
After putting up the drone, we sat down and had a relaxing few frothies and a wine. Anyway, cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. I then set up the bed and relaxed in the room with an awesome view. As the tide had finally turned and it was heading in, I set up my rod and reel to do a night fish. So the time came, I took all my gear down and set it up. It was cold, it was very dark and there was no moon. So it made for an interesting time. After using all my mullet left over from broom, I cast it out with a muley. It was about 12.15 am and I was on. And whatever it was, felt like a decent size. To my surprise, it was a decent gummy shark. Although a good chew and it was perfect size, I decided to let it go. After catching the shark, we messed around a little bit chasing the ghost crabs. Karen was having a ball. <laughs> so far. It was about one o'clock, so we decided to head back to bed, and get some shut eye. We then woke up about, oh, I think it was 7, 7.30ish, and had a bit of breakfast and a coffee. It was now about 10.30 and the tide was just about in, so I decided to head back down and throw a line in. It wasn't long and I was on. I pulled in a nice little trevally. It had then gone quiet on the fishing side, so I decided to get some drain footage while the tide was in. While I had the drone up, I gave Karen the fillets off the trevally and she went off and made a ceviche up and she added a little bit of pink gin. Wow, it was bloody fantastic. She's, she does all right sometimes, I can tell you. After putting the drone up, we sat down and relaxed with a few beers and a few wines. We waited for the sun to go down and I went out and got some good uh, GoPro footage and a few photos, some of which you've already seen and some I'll put up now. Well, that's the end of episode four. And if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed, it would mean a lot to us if you could. And if you can hit the notification bell, it will let you know when the next episode is released. Anyway, please stay tuned for episode five as we make our way to Kwangdong, Bard Creek, Woolly Creek, Pearl Farm, Cape Levick, and stay at Gumbernan before heading off in the morning to Signet Bay Pearls. Again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next episode.